In summer of 1927, Lucille Ball's grandfather Fred Hunt bought a 22 caliber rifle for his grandson Freddie as a gift. He was teaching Freddie, Lucy, Lucy's cousin Cleo, and another young girl how to shoot it using tin can targets in the open space of their backyard. As the young girl was pulling the trigger, neighbor's son Warner got in front of the rifle. As a result, Warner's spine cord got damaged and the boy got paralyzed to the lower half of his body. All of that happened before Lucy's eyes. Warner's parents sued Fred Hunt. Lucy, her brother, and her cousin all had to testify in the court. This incident caused the family to face social ostracism and legal troubles. The family lost everything they had, including their house and everything inside the house. It gave teenage Lucy the most distorted view of justice. As she would later write in her autobiography, I don't see how anyone can reconcile the punishment with the crime in this case. Lucy's grandfather Fred played a significant role in her upbringing, especially after her father passed away when she was very young. Her father died of typhoid fever when she was only three years old, and her mother, Desiree Didi Ball, was left to raise Lucy and her little brother on her own. During this time, Lucy's grandparents, Fred and Flora Bell Hunt, helped care for her. Fred, in particular, had a strong influence on Lucy, and she often described him as being a father figure during her childhood. She called him Daddy her entire life. Witnessing Daddy go through hell after this incident broke Lucy's heart and undermined her trust in our legal system. Losing all of their savings, the family never healed from this nightmare. This tragedy pushed Lucy to look for job opportunities and eventually brought her to New York City, where she worked as a model. 